What's up, guys? NJ Bike Life. I'm going to talk to you guys about defensive driving versus offensive driving. Well, riding, I guess it would be because, you know, you're on a, a dirt scooter or a motorcycle or whatever. When it comes to when it comes to a motorcycle, my best thing, my opinion is how you should ride is you should ride offensive. You should always ride like like there's someone, you know, trying to to cause you harm on a motorcycle. If you get too comfortable on a bike and you, you think that you're invisible and stuff like that, that's usually when that slip up is gonna happen. So what I do whenever I'm riding, I always think like, oh, here comes a car, this car's gonna hit me, here comes a car, this car's gonna hit me. Or this dog right here is gonna cross the street and get hit and it's gonna cause me to veer off the road, something stupid like that. I'll always think that stuff just because you never know what the other people are thinking, you know? You gotta pretty much take life into your own hands when you're riding a bike. You have to look at your, your bike and, and see that it's not it's not a car, it's not a cage, you know? You, you're not behind all this metal, so if you even get bumped or sidetracked or anything, you're flying right off of your bike. And unless you got a lot of good gear, even if you do got a lot of good gear, it's not going to feel the best. It's going to, you know, it's going to hurt. And it could be that one hurt that, that ends your life, unfortunately. So when I'm riding a bike, I always think that someone else is always out there, you know, trying to, trying to take me out. So I ride offensive. Offensive meaning at a light, uh, I'll stay as far up as I can. I wish there was lane splitting in New Jersey because then I would just split lanes, go right to the front of the traffic at the lights so that I wouldn't have to worry about someone plowing behind me and smash me into the car in front of me. But I would, if I'm always out of light, I always try to get right in the front so that uh, I don't have to worry about anyone really ramming me in the back. Also, when I'm, uh, when I'm at a light, when that light turns green, I take off pretty quickly. Not to show like, you know, how, how badass my 250 is, even though it's pretty fucking badass. But it's to stay out of that time of danger. It's to stay out of that point where that car might be trying to do something funny. And if you take off quick, you don't have to worry about the car behind you hitting you. You don't have to worry about any piles up. You get away from that light as quickly as possible. And, uh... That'll give you like the best chance of, you know, staying out of danger if danger would ever arise. Another thing that I do when it comes to uh, when it comes to like riding on highways and things like that, if I'm ever coming up next to a car, I'll actually pull up as far away from that car as I can. I don't want to be anywhere near that car when I'm pulling up into that lane. Just because of the, the simple fact that who knows the second I go to get in that lane if that car is going to want to come over into my lane or or something like that. So I always try to stay at least, you know, a bunch of feet away from that car. Like if you're supposed to be driving in the right lane and you're supposed to stay all the way to the left, then I would go all the way to the right just to stay far away from that car. Because if they ever do try to come into the lane, at least I know I'll have enough reaction time to where I could just, you know, quickly counter steer away from it or some type of evasive maneuver to get away from them so that I don't end up getting hit by them because that would be pretty bad. But that's like one of my tips on the highways. When it comes to like dealing with stop signs, like if I'm coming to a stop sign, I always I tend to look behind me a lot, just because I don't I don't know if that person's gonna be behind me and they're gonna try and take me out or something like that. So I always look behind me and make sure just in case, so that they're not speeding through the stop sign. But I also want to pull up relatively, you know enough to see over that line when it comes to the stop sign just 
so that I can see the cars coming down, but I'm also not far enough out to where if that car were to, you know, slip up or something like that and veer off course or something, that they wouldn't end up taking me out. That there would be maybe like an object in front of me that I would keep or, or something like that, just so if anything does go wrong, you, you're out far enough so you can see it, so you can react. But you gotta be able to have stuff to save you too, like, I was, I was watching one of Cycle Cruiser's video and he said something about uh, when he rides, he rides always to the right side of the lane. And I know in the manual in New Jersey it says to, to stay to the left side, stay like a foot or so away from the yellow line on the left side, but I personally agree with Cycle Cruiser when it comes to the right side of the lane because if you ever fall, you're pretty close to that other lane that's passing, so you kind of are almost shit out of luck. If you fall, you're falling right into their lane, and it's not good news. So I stay to the right. If I'm on to the right, then at least I could veer off to the side and, and go towards, like, brushes and stuff like that. That'll slow me down. Or I could even just, uh, you know, have some more reaction time. If I go down, then at least uh, I'll slide know in the lane it won't go outside of the lane or at least as much as it would if I was on the left another thing that's good when you're doing offensive driving or driving safe riding safe or whatever is, is your visibility on you if you're riding you're wearing all black and it's getting dark out there's more than likely a chance that you know people aren't going to see you as much as they would as if you said you had like a, a high-vis jacket or a reflective jacket or something like that. So that's also a pretty important standpoint when it comes to riding. Is always try to have like high visibility stuff on you. All the jackets I have, they're, they're of a black color, but when it gets dark, I actually carry around like a high-vis jacket. I have like a... I bought it from Walmart. It was like 14 bucks. It's like a vest that you put over. And, uh, yeah, I actually bought one, and, uh, it's, it's actually been working out pretty well. I use that when it's nighttime. Another important tip you want to think about also is you're riding, you want to have... I know a lot of helmets come with like tinted visors and yeah, they look cool and stuff. But if it starts to get dark, that tinted visor is not doing anything for you. So you want to make sure that you either bring another visor with you or you uh you either bring a tinted or uh, an untinted visor or something else like that. Because the last time I was out, it was pretty dark. We were we were like eating or something like that and it got really dark like really quick and I didn't even have time to uh to like switch the visors up I didn't have time to switch the visors. It was like, uh, it was really dark. So I actually had to ride on the highway doing 50, 60 miles an hour with the visor up. And let me tell you, when I got home, my eyes were all red from the sand coming up from the cars. And like, it was not a fun experience. And this is one of those times that I, I wish I had like, uh, I wish I had like another visor. But I, but I didn't have one on me. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I guess that's pretty much it. When you're driving, I mean, when you're riding, you want to ride offensively. You want to be in control of your own life because the people that are out there, they're not going to, you know, be in control of it for you. So, in my opinion, Right offensively. Just don't, you know, as you know, speed causes most of the accidents around here, so try to just keep the speed to a minimum. But if you're if your speed is good and you know 
you're staying away from cars or trying to stay away from cars as best as possible, you should have absolutely no problem. And yeah, that's my video, NJ Bike Life vlogging out. I don't know. I don't know what I think for an in for an outro, but yeah, this ended the video, NJ Bike Life. Later's.